Thank you so much, Luke. And you know that was not easy. Um, we're winding down. So what I'd like to do now is give a little background of why and how this truly works with someone who could walk the talk and talk the walk, I guess you say. Gary, Gary Kaplan is a neurologist and associate professor of neurology at Hofstra, Hofstra University School of Medicine. Dr. Kaplan received the Albert Douglas Award for the Medical Society of the State of New York for outstanding achievements as a clinical teacher interested in promoting and improving the medical education of physicians. He is also a nationally recognized expert on the effects of transcendental meditation on stress-related illnesses and has appeared on CNN, NBC, CNBC, and other national television programs speaking about the latest research on transcendental meditation and its effect on health. So please welcome Dr. Kaplan. Thank you, Ed. We've heard so many moving talks today. It's really, it's been a real eye-opener. And I'm here as a physician and someone who's been involved in research to let you know that, in fact, there have been studies done regarding the transcendental meditation technique with veterans. And I was pleased to see the new research at Norwich University. And the studies that have been done before, though they haven't been done on many veterans, have really shown the effect of this very simple mental technique. As far back as 1985, the first study on the transcendental meditation technique and post-traumatic stress disorder in veterans was done with Vietnam veterans. And uh, with 18 veterans in that pilot study, some very impressive results were shown even that early on. Over a three-month period, the PTSD symptoms decreased markedly to about half uh, baseline. And that meant a decrease in anxiety, in something we call emotional numbness, uh, a decrease in all those measures on the very standardized post-traumatic stress disorder scale. And uh, along with that came a decrease in alcohol abuse and a decrease in insomnia and a decrease in depression. Now fast forward to just a couple of years ago and more pilot studies were done, this time on uh, with veterans from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan in the Gulf War. And again, uh, the results were quite remarkable and they were published in Military Medicine in, in 2011. And after just a short time, after four weeks of meditation, practicing the TM technique, again, the results were quite remarkable using very standardized scales, including one that the psychiatrist used, the Beck Depression Inventory, and then also standardized post-traumatic stress disorder scales. Seeing again a decrease in these post-traumatic stress-related symptoms that we mentioned before, and also an improvement in the quality of life scales. So an improvement in satisfaction overall. People feeling more themselves. So this is really rather important and tells us that the important aspect now is to bring this research to involve many more veterans. So that there's a real power with these studies saying, yes, this is a simple technique that works. And in that regard, there have been a few studies that are starting up, uh, two of them uh, in the Midwest, one involving 30 veterans uh, at the Minneapolis VA Health Center and another involving 30 veterans at the uh, Veterans Center in Saginaw, Michigan. And what's even more exciting is that uh, at San Diego Healthcare System, in conjunction with the University of California at San Diego, they've received a $2.4 million grant from the Department of Defense to study the effectiveness of TM uh, as compared to prolonged exposure treatment, one of the other treatments used for post-traumatic stress. Uh, and uh, comparing it also with PTSD health education for veterans. So this is going to be a very exciting study that's coming along. So the real question that I ask myself as a neurologist is, why should this work? I mean, after all, it's just a simple mental technique. 
and those stresses are so ingrained in post-traumatic stress disorder, the perseverative thinking of reliving the profound depression, suicide, and suicidal ideation. And it brings me back to something that Dr. Kankra said initially. It's that if there's something psychological or mentally that occurs that can bring on the disorder, then it makes sense that a simple mental technique could also help reverse the disorder. And in this situation, it's because the mind and body are so intimately related. And in particular, the mind and brain are so intimately related that this simple mental technique that allows someone to experience quieter and quieter levels of thinking, and that allows the mind to settle down to a state of profound creativity, pure awareness, and a sensation of bliss, is also associated with such profound physiological changes and so such profound changes in brain activity that that older part of our nervous system that so colors our activity, we call it the limbic system, that includes areas like the hippocampus, the gateway to our memories, and includes an area called the amygdala, which is, colors our thoughts with such profound emotion including rage and anger and fear, that these are affected by the TM technique. And at the same time, that prefrontal area of the cortex, our newer part of the brain, that's responsible for our planning and thinking is brought more online. So that there's a real balance that occurs, not that we have to know about any of these terms or think about it, just through the practice of the technique. And so that's why, as a neurologist, it makes sense to me that a simple mental technique that anyone can do who can think a thought can have such a profound effect in normalizing brain function and normalizing the effect on our thinking and our behavior. So I always recommend this to my patients, whether they have post-traumatic stress or not, because of all the great work that's been done showing the effect of TM technique, as, as Bobby had alluded to at the beginning, on reducing hypertension and improving physiological function and quality of life, but especially for our veterans, how important it is. Thank you.